project that I did at the lab was I observed new uh, nuclear detection methods to observe our current global competitors. I'm validating code right now. I've got some code that's supposed to simulate a fireball explosion essentially from a nuclear weapon and I've also got all of this data from nuclear weapons and I'm trying to make sure that this code that's supposed to simulate nuclear weapons does what it's supposed to and can simulate them well. The project I'm currently working on is studying electrospun bio nanofibers um, in an attempt to take the technology of electrospinning nanofibers and apply them to drug storage um, and drug transport to help uh, the medical community. Working on the film scanning and reanalysis project with Gregory Spriggs has been off the charts. He's taught me more about the fireball physics than me a system, systems engineer will ever, ever learn in school. The lab works so, uh, so hand in hand with uh, the Department of Defense and the military. I think definitely what I learned here will help me as, as an officer and I'll be able to use what I've learned here um, when I go to the fleet. Because I'm a physics major, if I continue on with physics after the Navy, I could do PhD, I could do research, and that's a lot of what they do here. Um, but also I know that they are heavily involved in defense, and because I'm military, that's something I care about. Part of the responsibility of an Army officer is to be able to look at complex problems and come up with innovative solutions. Working at a lab like Lawrence Livermore has provided me the opportunity to develop the skill of tackling complex problems and coming up with different solutions to those problems. Being able to take that coding experience I have from the academy and then apply it in a real life scenario like this where it's going to help these physics majors find new nuclear yields for all the different shots that we had back in the 60s of these nuclear uh, tests that we did, it's really cool. Taking the, all of these experiences with your project with your project and the people that you learn from, I think that's integral to your, de um, your development. To be surrounded by researchers that are incredibly welcoming, uh, incredibly supportive, have taken every opportunity to show me something new, to teach me something new. I do think it's a really good networking opportunity for us. I know that um, at any given time, there's a couple active duty Air Force officers here and the technologies that they explore here at the lab is going to be integral in, the, uh, in my future career. The MAR program is all around a great program to be part of. If you have four or five or six weeks off in your summer, you should absolutely apply for this program because it will absolutely be worth your time. Come with an open mind because you're going to learn so much and your mind's going to be blown no matter what. You just have all these people coming in from random places around the lab telling us about the really cool things that they do and that is also a really great part of being here because I would try to seek those out but this is one specific opportunity where they say come to this we've put this together for you and it helps you understand the, the multifaceted parts of the lab how many different projects and, and focuses the lab has and how much they're doing for both the military and the country. Mm -hmm.